All parties in the matter of Hill versus McTeer. Step forward. Janie Hill is suing her former friend, Glenn McTeer, for a refund for a Nissan Maxima he sold her. I feel like there's some sort of scam going on in this case. It's going to take me a little while to ferret it out. Miss Hill, you bought a car from Mr. McTeer in installments. You claim you made all the payments, which I'm sure you have proof of to show me, except for the last one. And then Mr. McTeer refused to give you the title and took back the car. You went and stole the car back from him, and you now have the car in your possession, but no title. So far, is that correct? Somewhat. Well, let's see what's not correct. Is it your claim that you bought a car on installment payments from the defendant? This is true. And that you made all the payments but the last one? That's true. And that you then asked him for the title, you were going to give him the last payment, and he refused to give you the title, and he took the car back? Correct. And then you went and took the car back from him? I felt like I was protecting my investment. I don't care what you felt. Okay. Then you went and took the car back from him. I did. And you now have possession of the car. I do. So what you're asking for is money owed for a refund of the payments that you made. Now, you have the car, and you want the payments that you made. No, Your Honor, I... And what do you want? You have the car, and you want $3,000. Does that make sense to you? The car is still obviously in his name, and I cannot drive it. He canceled the registration, so I am taking public transportation. I have no use of the car. Okay. The reason why... When did you start to make payments on the car? I bought the car in August of 2016. And what were the monthly payments that you were making to him? It's $300 a month. And when did he take the car back from you? October 2017. So you had the car for 14 months? Correct and paid him a total of $3,000, according to you. That's what you can show me, correct? Correct. Let me see. Well. Not a well. This is not a well. It's not. No, no, this is not a well. It's not. You have just... proof of payments. How much was the car? We agreed on $3,500 total. And how many payments can you prove to me that you made? Here's the proof right here, Your Honor. No. <laughs> That's nothing. It's payments. The, it's the payments. Show me the payments. Okay. Receipt. So, Check. Something. We wrote out receipts, but it was in the car. He cleaned the car and has all my possessions. So my proof was in the car, and he literally took everything out of the car when he repossessed it. I know it's I should have those payments, but it was in my glove box. I didn't anticipate him taking the car and not giving me my things. So those are text messages from Glenn himself stating that I paid him as well. So I brought what I had. 